Hello everybody, John here, and on to the garage today. We're doing a little bit of secrets, a little bit of modern maintain, and it comes out of when I was doing some work changing my wiper blades the other day, a couple of people commented that the washer jets were blocked on my car, and yes they are. And it uh, wasn't exactly number one priority because the car's parked up in here for, for now, where I thought, mm. It's a nice easy one to share with you guys. So I'm going to show you how to unlock the washer jets on your Jaguar XK8. First thing to just look at <coughs> is that the washer jets on the X100 Jaguars are a little unusual compared to the majority of cars yeah. in that they ride on the wiper arm itself and they also have multiple outlets which is a particularly efficient way of doing things because they can spray water basically at the area closest to the blade. And there's a jet on the back as well. And the idea is that normally you squirt uh, your screen and the blade comes around and collects the water. Um, generally by the time it gets there, the water's run away, um, the sweep, stops the return stroke being wet, all sorts of things. Just just really effective, elegant way of doing things. Does mean you've got a relatively complicated bit of kit on either a wiper arm, and that's what we're going to be dealing with today to unblock these. So, what is step one? Step one is we're just going to unclip them. So, you want to lift your wiper arms up off of the uh, windscreen, get a big focus, and get yourself a nice fine electrical screwdriver. And what you're going to be doing is putting the screwdriver in this gap here and just flicking back a tab. Now this is difficult for me to do one-handed, so I'm going to remove it and then show you how the clip works so that you can better understand how to remove it for yourself. So there you are, I've unclipped it. You can see it just hooks under that uh, little ledge there. So it is just a case of gently prising it up. Remember, you're dealing with many year old plastics, so don't be forcing anything, don't move anything further than you need to. And that just unhooks from the wiper arm. If your wiper arms are as they should be, and one of mine is, You'll also have this little clip, and if I again try and get a bit of focus for you, that little clip holds the tube for the washer jet to the arm. If you just give it a little bit of a twist, you don't have to remove it, it loosens, and then you can snap it back on. And that is one of our wiper jets off. And upside down, you can see we have, ooh, get some focus again, two what appears to be ball jets, but the one in the black in the back, sorry, is blind. You've got four uh, three rubber nozzles or ducks bills. And they are soft and should prevent your washer jets from blocking and mean they're less likely to freeze because lumpy things can force their way out. So our next trick is we've got to remove this from the tube. Remember again, old plastics, old rubber. So we're going to warm up the tube with a hairdryer before slipping it off. But before I do that, what we're going to do is a little test to see the spray pattern on both of these jets before I remove them from the tubes. Right, just going to see what the washer jet washes like. So it's facing down. I've got it hooked up to the uh, pipe work. Giving better focus for you. Okay. So before we clean it up, Three ways 
I mean, reasonably, the fourth way, which is that ball jet. Yeah. So it was a duck's bill, should be firing up top left of picture. Nearly coming out, but struggling. Let's do an upside down shot for novelty. Ah, so you can see how this works. I'm going to try and not get sprayed. Try to push the tube back rather than pull it off if you can. Because pushing it back will cause the tube to expand slightly. Pulling it from here will cause it to contract. So you're putting more and more effort into potentially breaking the washer jet. Trying to rotate the tube a little bit to stop it from <coughs> tearing. If it's stuck to the plastic, it is coming off. Just taking my time about it. That seems to work well. Pushing it and then give it a little tweak and a twist. Freeze it back up. Keep peeling back the edge to release it. Got this close, don't want to break it. Ta da! And there is the nozzle off. That's the driver's side on my UK car. Okay, so here's a better view. It's quite a sophisticated little thing. Rubber duck spills. There, there, there. And there. And a sort of traditional ball jet, but you can adjust with a pin. Just there. So, how am I going to clean this thing up? By borrowing my wife's jewellery cleaner. <laughs> and essentially what jewellery cleaners are, <coughs> usually anyway, is a tiny ultrasonic bath. So by using this, we're using basically agitation at a very high frequency to disturb things which may have blocked the nozzles. So, I've got some isopropyl alcohol. This is 70-30. Uh, you can use all sorts of things. You can use water. But alcohol is obviously, let's call it thinner, for ease of discussion. And fill my right hand compartment with alcohol and I'm just putting enough in to basically be able to submerge the jets can't get the top off this uh, spray container if you're wondering by the way why I'm just not pouring it in it's a snap-on thing the other side just get in some water basically be my rinse got these little trays which just keeps the items away from the bottom of the bath we're going to put our washer jet in here and snap the lid shut to make it submerge better and it's mainly the bottom half so i'm going to put that way up and to turn on the ultrasonic vibrator it's basically just going to rattle the liquid at a frequency that should dislodge anything that's in the slightest bit detachable and we're going to leave that running for about three minutes right what i'm going to do now is make sure i've got plenty of liquid inside it because that's just been moving around the outside so i'm just going to use a squirty bottle to squirt into the jet
and back on. Now we're just going to use it without the basket to get the full depth. And that's now going to go out of here into the rinse tray, which has just got water in. It should start to fetch out anything that the alcohol has loosened. And as we all, I have another washer jet. That one can go in there. Okay, as you had seen, the uh, ultrasonic cleaner did liberate a little bit of debris from the uh, nozzle. What we've got now is an airline with a right angle rubber T on it and a white piece of paper. So what I'm going to do, and this is just in case anything interesting comes out, I've dried it up and cleaned it up, but when we attach our nozzle, to our rubber T. There you go. And apply a little bit of pressure. What comes out? Now I'm trying to apply the pressure gently. A nice noise comes out. Should also be able to see the duck's lips. And that's a funny thing to call it, but that's what it is. Um, doing their thing, which is growing when they're in use. Like reed valves on a high performance two stroke. And that movement should keep them clean. I'm setting the dogs off locally now. <laughs> so now. We think that one is clean. I'll do the same to the other. I see a problem here. And it's split. So the end is not opening, the base is opening. So, this might be a new washer jet. Or, going to repair that with a tiny amount of super glue. The risk is, of course, I block it. Let's dry it off and have a go because I'm losing nothing. So, I've got three strands of electrical wire, twisted them together, and now what I'm going to try and do is insert that in the nozzle to keep it open. What I'm going to do is put a smallest drop I can manage of Gorilla Glue on it. We shall see if that will set on it. Because what I'm dealing with is so small, 
and I'm going to try and use this to reduce the surface tension and spread it a little. And stop it sitting as a big lump. Okay. Let's leave that for 10 minutes. Well, that ends another quick uh, Secrets of the XK8, washer jet related, and a quick demo on how I go about cleaning it. I will need to order one new washer jet because that, that rubber beak is not going to uh, survive on its own. So, uh, hope to see you all again soon. Please subscribe, please share the videos with your friends, people you think might enjoy them, and uh, I look forward to all of your comments. So. See you again on Tiller Garage real soon.